Slowing down for a second and processing the trauma, something that many of those who rushed to volunteer after the 7th of October never did. But here, in a special retreat at the Dead Sea, some of them are now doing exactly that. We equip them with professional psychologists. I think it includes the best ones in the country. And we turn to organizations like Zaka, the unit that identifies the bodies, volunteers who saw difficult things. We want to give them coping mechanisms and a place to process their experiences. He offers two-day workshops at a Dead Sea resort where participants can open up, share their experiences with psychologists and finally enjoy some quiet in nature. For Kravitz, a retired naval captain, founding the initiative was about preventing post-trauma in society and doing something himself in order to help. When everything started, I felt like a lion in a cage. It's the first time that Israel is at war and I'm not in uniform. I did some reserve duty, helped here and there where I was needed. But I felt like doing something in the trauma field all the difficult scenes we see in the news and in videos raged in me. He teamed up with psychologist Vera Datsman Meshulam, who specializes in trauma. Today, she's receiving a group from the kibbutz movement. The participants helped the communities in Israel south in the aftermath of the massacres. It's very difficult to take a break on a day-to-day -day basis. They are scared to share their fear because if they give their emotions space, they might fall apart. We are meeting in a safe space and we have time. The time frame of two days enables them to let go of the layers, knowing that they can leave some of those layers on in order to return to their lives the next day, but with the feeling of relief. Osnat Khaviv Gal, who works with the kibbutz movement, coordinated funerals for murdered kibbutz members from the Gaza border area, more than 380 in total in less than three months. She says she can't sleep at night. The conversations with families and the images are consuming her and her colleagues. From the first second on, we knew about the large amounts of missing persons and murdered. And therefore, I got up and we understood that one can't do this alone, so I got a team. From 6 in the morning, when you receive the name of the first murdered, to 12 or 1 at night, you just work. If my family would not have put water on my desk or food, I found that I would have forgotten that as well. We all, all of our team, we were nine amazing women. We all worked around the clock. For many of the participants, the seminar was the first opportunity to open up about how their lives have turned upside down. When you spoke, anger was coming out of you. But then you stopped yourself again. I want to ask you to allow yourself to get help. You yourself helped so much all this time. The support they received during the two-day workshop is meant to empower them for the days to come. And speaking about the experiences of the past three months might help society as a whole. We are missing space and opportunities for respectful conversations where it is allowed to have different opinions. Creating brotherhood despite different opinions is the result of psychological processes that we can train. And this gives me hope. Mashiva Ruach wants to receive up to 2,000 people annually in their seminars, giving back to those who sacrificed much of their lives to help others in those difficult times.